Hey guys, welcome into this new video. So in this tutorial, let's take a look of how we can uh, fund some tokens here into the Throne Link wallet. So in order to continue, guys, what you guys need to do if you are into your browser, you just need to download the browser extension. Or if you're using an Android or an EOS in here, you can go directly to the App Store, Google Play Store, so you can add the application. But in my case, I'm going to go into my browser extension. I'm using the Chrome Web Store, so I'm going to select this option and i want to install my extension here so once i have my extension i just need to go into my uh, throne link in here you're gonna pin it right up here and i want to enter here so i can import my wallet so it says welcome back i need to put my passcode if you haven't imported a wallet yet just hit into add wallet and pull your wallet and you just need to paste your your mnemonic phrase your private key or your key store and go into next so you can import your wallet in here so the next thing you want to do guys is to i'm going to go back in here and as you can see this is the token that i want to buy so what i want to do is to select the option that says swap it's going to be helping me into the sun swap in order for making transaction here uh, connect wallet so I can connect my wallet in order for uh, swapping from one wallet into another one but if you want to send tokens inside the throne link wallet uh, I strongly recommend you guys select the option that says uh, receive so once you select the option that says receive you want to copy uh, this address in here and what I want to do is to go into my metamask wallet so i can see which token i'm going to be sending right mm -hmm. so once i am into my metamask account what i want to do is to look for the throne if you don't see your throne token you might want to go into coin market cap and then what you want to do is to look for trx which is the throne uh, token here and as you can see down here into the contracts we want to copy the contract right in here go back into your metamask if you uh, have an extension there just just click in there I go into import tokens and just paste the contract address so you can be uh, watching the token symbol and the decimal here uh, as you can see this one says token already been added so it's not needed for me to add it again so once you find your token in here you want to select the option that says send and let's paste right the address that we just uh, received from our throne uh, wallet which is right in here and if I go back into my account I'm gonna go I'm gonna paste the network which is right in here so as you can see here are the assets that you can be sending uh, through that account if you want you can select your throne wallet in here and the amount that you want to send and as you can see here's the gas price and the gas limit in my case it's this insufficient balance because I need a little bit more of tokens in order to pay for the gas fee guy but you just go ahead and make the transaction guys so after you want to make after you've done your transaction where it says uh, you have no transactions you might see that there's a new transaction ongoing it says pending so if you so if you go back into your throne link wallet uh, which is right in here I'm gonna go back a little bit I'm gonna go back a little bit more and here it is the assets I might see that there will be uh, now my coins are not gonna be available into this throne link wallet guys so that's the only way that we can receive tokens here into throne wallet we can't so we cannot buy tokens inside the throne wallet but we can receive tokens and of course send tokens in here as you can see we can send we can receive we can vote we can even stake and swap tokens we bought we cannot uh buy tokens inside throne uh right now at the moment guys so let me know if you have any question don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys if you want to see more about Trump wallet thank you for watching the video and i'll see you next time